typically we've been doing chess coaching face to face, but uh, these days we're doing a little bit more of the coming out to uh, to schools through the magic of the internet and uh, through your electronic whiteboards or your smart boards. Today's lesson is about the four move checkmate. Now, originally the four move checkmate was called a scholar's mate, and a scholar is that guy that you see there on the screen in front of you now. A scholar is someone who sits down and thinks about and studies and reads books. Um, and when when chess was first being played uh, in its current form, we're talking like five or six hundred years ago, the only people who knew this trick of the four move checkmate were scholars, were people who actually studied the game. Um, today, some people call the four move checkmate a fool's mate. And so it's interesting to see that a few hundred years ago, nobody knew about it. It was only the people who really studied and learned about chess from books, um, or for, in those days, the very few things that were written about chess that knew anything about it. Whereas today, we've got uh, you know everybody knows about it, and it's, it's sort of known as the four move, uh, the, the fool's mate, as well as the four move checkmate. It's in fact one of the most common tricks or traps that um, kids will use at tournaments. So it's really important for you to know how the four move checkmate works because you don't want to get stung by it. And uh, we've got a couple of pictures of some of these guys here who've been stung by the four move checkmate and it's certainly not pleasant for them. Um, the four move checkmate ends the game just bang straight away. Four moves can take as quick as 30 or 40 seconds. There's an old saying and that saying is get me once, shame on you get me twice, shame on me. And what that says is that if I get you in four move checkmate and you've never heard of it before, well, that's a bit mean of me to try out a little trap like that and sneak up on you and get a four move checkmate without you being really prepared for it. But if I get you checkmate the same way twice, well, shame on you for not having learnt the first time. And for those people who like uh, the Charlie Brown comics, peanut stuff. Uh, there's Charlie Brown who goes to kick the football and how many times does Lucy have to pull that ball away and he trip over before he finally learns, hang on, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So really important that when you're um, playing games, if you do get checkmated, that's fine, no problems about that, but make sure you learn from your mistake and don't fall for the same thing twice in a row or twice ever. Once you've done something wrong, learn from that mistake. So today we're going to learn two things. We're going to learn about how to do the four move checkmate on someone, all right, so that you can be the meanie and come up and get someone in checkmate in four moves. And we're also going to learn how to stop the checkmate, because that's really just as important, if not more important. Now the four move checkmate is a strategy and not a single move or a series of moves. So we're not trying to memorize four moves to deliver a checkmate, we're trying to um, understand a strategy. And a strategy is an idea. It's an idea about what you want to try and achieve. Nothing to do with what your opponent's doing, it's just what you're aiming for. So here we can see a four move checkmate strategy. And there are two things that makes this strategy work. Number one, the queen's on the weak spot. All right. Number two, the queen is protected by something. And in this particular situation, the bishop is protecting the queen. Now, the weak spot is a square that is one step diagonal to the king. All right. You can see the queen sitting on that square there. And it's not protected by anything other than the king. All right. If we try to do a four move checkmate on the square in front of the king, or diagonally in the other direction, or any of the other squares, they're going to be too well protected. So, Checkmate on the square right in front of the king, that's the square we call E7. All right, so we've got the numbers and letters at the bottom of the board. There's E, there's 7. A che checkmate on E7, uh, let's see if I can actually get some of these things working. Here we go. A checkmate on E7 is not going to work because we've got a bishop, we've got a knight, we've got a queen, and we've got a king all coming in to protect that square. So that's just never going to work. A four move checkmate has to happen on the weak spot. And this square F7, for black or for white, it would be F2, that's what we call the weak spot. It's protected by the king and nothing else. So to get a four move checkmate, 
we need to do those two things. Number one, put the uh, queen on the weak spot, protected by something, and number two, uh, sorry, put the queen on the weak spot, number one, and number two, protect it by something. Okay, in this situation we've got the, uh, the, the queen protected. So to get the queen onto that position, um, the reason we call it a four move checkmate is it takes four moves. That's the fastest way that you can do it. And you can see here we've got the four moves. The first one to advance the pawn forwards, which lets out the queen and the bishop. The second move, the bishop comes out. The third move, the queen comes out. And the fourth move, the queen will move in and take out the pawn on the weak spot. It'll be protected by the bishop, which came out on the second move. And there we have four move checkmate. Okay, so that's the four moves that it takes to actually do that checkmate. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to see that four move checkmate in action. All right, so we're going to see what moves black might play, um, and we're going to walk through the moves of a game where it ends up in a four move checkmate, watching obviously what black's doing. So here we can see black's sort of just copying at the moment. Bishop comes out. We don't think that really anything's uh, in danger at the moment. The bishop's attacking the weak spot, but it's not protected by anything, so black can just respond with his bishop as well. Then the queen comes out and attacks the weak spot. Now, this is the, this is the point where black can either do or die. If he doesn't notice it and just brings his, queen out, his knight out to attack the queen, the queen sneaks in behind the knight, and there we've got the queen on the weak spot, protected by the bishop, and that's checkmate. All right. So the key question is, what should black do in this position? Because here we're nearly to a four move checkmate. All right. We're nearly to a four move checkmate. We've had the bishop come out to attack the weak spot. We've had the queen come out to attack the weak spot. Uh, weak spot's highlighted in red here. And remember, if black doesn't really notice that if they don't see that uh, queen coming in to get the checkmate and they just bring their knight off the back row to attack the queen, the queen's just going to come down, sneak in behind the knight and bang checkmate. All right, so what should black do in, in this position? If anyone's got any answers, they can uh, type them into, into their chat boxes um, and we'll go through some of the suggestions that people throw up for us. So this is the key moment. Okay, white's going for his checkmate. Before the queen comes out, okay, before the queen comes out to this square on h5, white may or may not be doing a four move checkmate. He might just be developing his bishop, getting his bishop into a good position, right? Opening up his queen, ready for the queen to come out later on in the game. But here, once the queen's there, warning bells should be sounding in your mind. You should be thinking, oh, hang on. What's the queen doing? It's the most powerful piece. It's the most powerful piece my opponent has. Is it coming out to visit me? Is it just coming over for a cup of cup of tea? Some morning tea? Oh, I'd like tea and cake, please. No, I don't think so. The queen's coming out there, aiming at the weak spot, just trying to get your checkmate straight away. So what moves could black do to get out of it, to stop it? All right, we're going to have a look at that one first. First one we're going to look at, you could try blocking it off. Okay, good suggestion. Block it off. Move the pawn forwards one step, and now the queen can no longer get through onto the weak spot. The pawn's blocked off the queen, so they can't do a checkmate anymore. All right, now that's a um, good idea. Stops the queen from coming down and taking out the pawn, so there's not going to be a checkmate anymore. But the block of the, um, the queen doesn't actually stop the four move checkmate, it just delays it. Right. The next move, the queen's going to zoom across, take out the pawn in front of the king, and we now have check. And at the same time, we're going to notice that because the pawns move forwards, the queen's going to be able to sneak in behind black's line of defense. So this is really only going to be delaying the checkmate. Okay, Black's in check. He's got to move his knight in the way to block it off. Then the queen zooms down, crash, takes out the rook, check. And, and this is really painful now. The queen is right in behind the line of defense, attacking the king. Knight moves in the way, blocks it off. Uh, not really stopping anything still. Queen takes out the knight as well. Check again. Bishop blocks. And, of course, you can see what the next move is going to be here. Queen takes out the pawn 
on the weak spot, protected by a bishop, and there we have four move checkmate. Now that four move checkmate didn't take four moves, but it is a four move checkmate because the four move checkmate is not four moves that we're memorizing. It's a strategy, it's an idea, and that idea is shown here. The queen is on the weak spot, the queen is protected by something, in this case the bishop, and the king's checkmated. All right, so that's the idea that we're trying to aim for. All right, we're not going four move checkmate, oh, we're going to memorize these four moves and we're going to always do those moves. That's what gets you into trouble. Having an idea, having a concept in your mind is really going to help you out. So here we have a four move checkmate idea. That's the strategy of four move checkmate. All right. Two, two things to remember, queen on the weak spot, protected by something. So back again to that critical position, what should white be doing here? Sorry, what should black be doing here? The queen's attacking the weak spot, All right, so the queen's out there, pointing down, attacking the weak spot. We've seen what happens if he tries to block it off. If he tries to block, the queen's going to take out the pawn check then zoom down, take out the rook, munch across all his backline pieces and still get him in checkmate anyway. So we need to find a different way of stopping the queen from taking out the, uh, the weak spot. So we've tried to block it off. Next one that we'll try was the suggestion of trying to protect it. So we put the knight out, the knight comes forwards, protects the pawn on the weak spot. So now if the queen comes down and takes out that weak spot, the knight will just take the queen. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Okay, we sort of stopped the four move checkmate. Knights really don't like being on the edge of the board. That's the problem here, is that knights really don't like being on the edge of the board. So um, white's going to take advantage of the fact that that knight is on the edge of the board by moving straight up into the center. Okay, so white's got his pawns now dominating the center of the board and that knight that black's got, which is stopping the four move checkmate at the moment, is sitting on the edge of the board and black hates that. All right, so white's gone up into the center of the board, black takes it out, and then bang, the bishop all the way down here takes out, eliminates black's knight. All right, now with the knight gone, when the knight was on h6, the knight was protecting the weak spot. But now the bishop's taken it, the knight's no longer protecting the weak spot. So when the bishop gets taken back, hopefully everyone can see what white's next move is going to be. After black's taken out that bishop, you should be able to see what white's next move is. Again, if you want to shout it out, talk to people about what, it, what your next move is going to be. Your next move is, of course, to take out the weak spot. And here we have another four move checkmate. Again, didn't happen in four moves, but the idea, the strategy, is the four move checkmate. The queen's on the weak spot, it's protected by something, okay, in this case it's the bishop again, there we have four move checkmate. So we need to go back again, we need to go right back to the critical position and we've got to say what should black be doing, okay, because we've seen two things now, we've tried moving the pawn forwards to block it off and that didn't work because the queen takes out the pawn on e5, comes in behind the line of defences and ends up with a checkmate. We've tried using the knight to bring the knight out to the edge of the board and protect the weak spot. Um, problem was, knights really don't like it on the edge of the board. They like to be in the middle of the board. So problem was, white just went bang, straight for the center of the board, take out the knight. We need to use a bit of logic here. All right, we need to use some logic. Let's have a look at some logic. All right, you're being attacked by a queen, the most powerful piece your opponent has. Okay, the queen's the strongest chess piece. So what would you like to defend with? Do you want to defend with a pawn, the weakest piece that you've got? Do you want to try and defend with your knight? A knight's worth three points. It's about one third the strength of a queen. You need three knights to equal a queen. Or if you're being attacked by a queen, the strongest piece your opponent has, what about defending with your queen, the most powerful piece that you have? All right, let's have a think about that. Let's go back and look at this position and say, well, okay, we're being attacked, the Queen's threatening us with a checkmate, we can stop that checkmate or we can try and block it off with a pawn, the weakest piece, we can go for it with the Knight, or what about with the Queen? And yet, using the Queen 
is definitely the best move. It's logical. Attack with a queen, defend with a queen. Right? Chess is a very logical, easy game when you think about it. And we can see here the queen, black's queen, now protects the pawn in the middle of the board. It protects the weak spot. So if white's queen goes down and tries to take out the pawn on the weak spot, black's queen will take it. It's possible that you could continue on there and white's queen would take out black's queen, so it's queen for queen trade. It's check, but then black's king could take out the bishop. So white would end up losing his pieces. Um, black would lose only a pawn and a queen. White would lose his bishop and his queen. So attack with a queen, defend with a queen. Best strategy. Now when a four move checkmate doesn't work, when your opponent is smart enough to know what's going on, they may or may not be a scholar, but they might know about the four move checkmate, maybe they've fallen for it before and they've worked out how to block it. When that happens, the four move checkmate actually backfires on you because now white's queen is out there in the open, can't do the four move checkmate and is looking a bit silly. He's looking around going, oh, oh what am I doing there? All right. What's going to happen is that black's knight is going to move out and attack that queen and then white's going to have to retreat the queen. And so black's going to end up with three or four pieces developed off the back row. White's queen's going to be running away, heading for home. And of course, black's going to be able to castle and get his king nice and safe. Okay. So that's the four move checkmate as a strategy. Okay. As a strategy. And what I'm going to leave you with today is, um, all right, let me... Uh, let me come back to, we've got a couple of questions, we'll come back to some questions in a minute. What I'm going to leave you today is with the idea um, that the four move checkmate is a strategy and not actually a series of moves because we've had a couple of people suggesting some other ways to do checkmate. Uh, we've, yep, all right, we've had some other other opportunities to do checkmate. So what I'm going to do is introduce you to Charmaine. Charmaine is a girl who um, was a, a really good student of mine. She's not uh, a student anymore. Um, she's sort of um, got a bit older. I think she's probably at university now. But when she was in grade three, I taught her the idea of the four move checkmate and said, look, it is a strategy. Don't memorize the moves. What I want you to do is come up with your own way of doing the checkmate in four moves. The four move checkmate is a strategy. You just need to have two things, the queen on the weak spot protected by something. Okay, And just with those two things, I'm going to now show you Charmaine's uh, checkmate, her four move checkmate. Okay, And we're going to see, I've just got to open up a, a new window for you. Uh, we're going to see the four move checkmate that Charmaine invented for herself. And the idea is that you're going to be able to invent your own four move checkmates as well. Right? It doesn't have to be exactly the four moves that I've suggested to you. In fact, it probably shouldn't be. Okay? Because if it is the four moves that I've showed you, everyone's going to expect it. So I'm going to show you Charmaine's really clever, really sneaky four move checkmate. She started off with her pawn to the center of the board and her opponent does the same thing. That's normal. Her next move was with her bishop, and that bishop is you know, aiming down towards the weak spot, but really not threatening to take it, because if he takes it, black's king can just take it back, so there's no problems yet. Black can develop the piece. And now this was Charmaine's brilliant move. Queen here. Brilliant move. Amazing. It protects her own weak spot. So now her opponent is completely, completely off guard. and. Um, for those people who suggested that you can do a four move checkmate like this as well, queen to f3 and then your queen can come down and take out the pawn on the weak spot, great idea. Okay, that, That's the weak spot. Any way that you can get your queen to the weak spot, great strategy. It's the strategy of the four move checkmate and you will have different opponents, they'll do different moves so you're going to need different ways of actually achieving your strategy. All right, so let's go back to Charmaine's brilliant move queen to e2. And what she's doing, protecting her weak spot and just catching her opponent off guard. Her opponent's like, oh, great. Definitely white's not going for a four move checkmate now. Definitely not. All right? You would never think that she's going for a four move checkmate. She's blocking the four move checkmate. So she, Charmaine's opponent develops the knight 
and Charmaine now retreated her bishop as well. So this guy's thinking, whoa, Charmaine is such a defensive player, she keeps moving her pieces to protect everything. All right, no worries, keep on developing pieces, so now there's three pieces off the back row attacking, and Charmaine plays queen to c4, and the queen's now threatening to take that bishop. All right, moving the queen onto the left-hand side of the board, onto what we call the queen side of the board, there's no way that you're going to notice that that weak spot is being attacked by the queen, or is there? All right, the queen is now attacking the weak spot, protected by the bishop, so they're both lining up in that same direction. But the sneaky thing about it is that it doesn't look like that that's what's happening. It's not the same four-move checkmate that black's expecting, that black's used to. So black thinks, oh, my bishop's attacked, I'll just retreat my bishop. And then Charmaine gets her brilliant checkmate. Queen's on the weak spot, protected by the bishop. Can you see it's the same strategy different moves. This four move checkmate took six moves. She had other four move checkmates that she used to do the same way, which would take eight moves, ten moves, twelve moves, doesn't matter. The idea is the four move checkmate is a strategy, so you do it however you want to, whichever way that you like to. As long as you've got those two things, uh, and really if you get it like Charmaine did, you'll go on to become a very, very good chess player. So what I'm suggesting to you is that you invent your own, You've got the idea the queen has to end up on the weak spot, protected by something. You can try it against uh, other players in your class. You can try it against your parents. You can try it against anyone you want to. Um, if you want to play online, we've got our website play.chesskids.com.au. There'll be a few people on there now. I'm heading on to that site now as well to, um, uh, to watch and interact and give you guys some uh, opportunities to try it against me or I might try some against you and I'll give you some comments. So thanks very much for being part of that lesson today. If there are any questions, I'll be hanging on the line for about another five or six minutes to uh, answer any specific questions that you guys have got um, and then I'll be going on to that site to play.chesskids.com.au to play some games against people. So let's get out there and 